What protected health information, PHI, can your practice share without receiving a patient's consent? Does your practice need special agreements in place before sharing patient information? What rights do patients have regarding their PHI? These are all questions covered and addressed under HIPAA's privacy rule. The privacy rule creates specific standards to protect patient information. Patient privacy continues to evolve and practices must follow strict guidelines in order to protect patient information and the practice's reputation. In order to comply with HIPAA law, you must have specific policies and procedures in place to properly control, disclose, and protect PHI. HIPAA's privacy rule defines specific rights for individuals regarding their PHI and obligates covered entities and their business associates to comply with protecting their information. As a general rule, patients must authorize any disclosure of their PHI. This includes all individually identifiable health information. However, HIPAA's privacy rule is not designed to interfere with the treatment of patients. Doctors, nurses, dentists, labs, specialists, and other healthcare providers can all freely discuss treatment plans and health status. They can share information to treat us, get paid, and run routine healthcare operations. This is referred to as TPO, defined as treatment, payment, and healthcare operations. However, patients do have rights. It makes sense because it's their private information that's at risk. Let's go through some of the key patient privacy rights that your practice should be aware of. Patients have the right to see and receive copies of their medical records. The Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health, also known as the High Tech Act, provides rights to patients to obtain copies of their records in an electronic format, and healthcare providers may charge for creating and delivering patients their requested information. If patients find errors in their records, patients have the right to request an amendment to their records. However, requests can be denied if they are found untrue. For example, if a patient was proven to be a smoker and requested to have that taken out of his or her health record, that request can be denied by the practice. Patients have the right to control who is informed about their health information. As a general rule, you can't disclose patient information without their consent. For example, if LeBron James gets treated in your office for a bad knee or an infected tooth, it is illegal to disclose this information without LeBron's consent, unless the disclosure is specifically related to treatment, payment, or healthcare operations. And make sure you receive the authorization in writing. However, there are certain circumstances where you are not required to obtain your patient's consent. These are non-routine circumstances like life-threatening emergencies, law enforcement support, or to identify a deceased or cause of death. In these non-routine cases, patients have the right to see an accounting of their non-routine disclosures. Patients also have the right to restrict information. For example, they can restrict family members from knowing they have a terminal illness. They can also revoke the restriction if they decide to at a later date. It is the patient's right under HIPAA to control who receives and knows about their medical condition. Patients have the rights to file complaints. If a patient believes their medical information was not adequately protected or the practice denied the patient rights to their information, the patient has the right to file a complaint with the Department of Health and Human Services. Patients have the right to receive a notice of privacy practices from your practice. It must be written in plain, simple language so patients can easily understand it. The notice informs patients how their PHI can be used and disclosed and defines the rights and process of how patients can gain access to their medical information. Every practice must post their notice of privacy rights at their physical location in clear sight, provide a copy to their patients, and use best efforts to obtain written confirmation that the notice was received. In summary, you have to clearly understand the privacy rights of your patients. As a general rule, they have a right to see and receive copies of their health records. They have the rights to amend their health information. They have the right to receive their information confidentially. They have authorization rights before their information may be used or shared for certain purposes, such as for research or marketing. However, they can restrict who receives their PHI and can request an accounting of disclosures when and why their PHI was shared. And finally, they are entitled to receive a notice of privacy practices from your practice that explains how their PHI is used and shared. OfficeSafe, powered by PCI HIPAA, contains many of the private documents and policies for your practice. 
And if you have any questions, please call us at 800-588-0254 or email us at support at PCIHIPAA.com.